Let me talk to y'all boys, man. This is the rough stage, this that. See, I stopped calling it the ugly stage um, a while ago. And I know the thumbnails to get you, because that's what you guys are familiar with. The ugly stage. I want to change that to the rough stage, you know what I mean? And so I've got a lot of advice from you guys uh, about my the back of my hair. And how to go about, you know, surviving the ugly stage or what y'all call the rough stage. And it's hard, man. <laughs> it's hard. And I feel y'all boys now. And ladies, of course. I feel like there is like a, a way to go about this without fully feeling like that. Like feeling like you should cut it. Feeling like, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I know. I don't even know if people really care at the end of the day. Cause it's like, when you think about it, when you go through any ugly stage or rough stage with your dreadlocks or with any part of your life even, it's usually that you care the most about how other people perceive you, how other people will look at you and uh, you almost start living for them instead of yourself, you know? And um, how you are seen is, is really important. As many people would say, like, don't worry about what other people think. But at the same time, it's like, you have to worry about other people think. You can't, like, you don't live on this world by your, by yourself. It's like, you didn't make yourself here by yourself either. So, it's almost like you're obligated to think about how other people think. So, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But I think, I think the way we should handle that would be, like, how to better present ourselves in a way. Because... Yeah, you shouldn't care to where like you're comparing yourself to others. I don't agree with that at all. But other opinion about you matters because that's who they see you to be. That's how they perceive you to be. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying fake it. I'm not saying do anything that you're not really who you are. But I'm saying you should perceive like you should take criticism like the way how other people look at you and different things like that and take it to consideration maybe they may be right you know what i mean maybe they may be wrong but you have to consider those things and i feel like that's what makes you a better yourself too like because i would never be a better me if i always done what i wanted to do um if i always wanted i always like executed based on my feelings uh, a lot of things you know it's kind of like going to think about going to a military right they strip you on yourself off yourself like they took you to boot camp they they show you how weak you are they show you how this and that you are so that you better look at yourself like dang like this is who i am and you start to acknowledge and understand who you are so it, it matters at that point what your sergeant says about you you know it matters how other people perceive you but uh, all to say i'm saying all that to say this it's like it's kind of hard living this life not worrying about what other people see or what like with hair for example like how people will see this starting off because it's not looking good guys that's that's what i'm i'm that's why I'm doing all this video, dramatic shots, the bathroom, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not easy, you know? And so, what else are you guys that are on the same uh, journey as me? Um, a lot of you guys have restarted your dreadlocks or started your dreadlocks, I would say. Some of you guys have started the same journey as growing up, like the side of your cuts, the undercuts, or the back of your hair. Let's do this together, like, it is definitely tough being in the ugly stage. It's not, it's not easy at all, which I call rough stage, and I, I'm going to keep saying that to look officially change with everybody else. I'm going to show y'all what, what that looked like so far. It's been a month and like a week or so. It's almost like every day matters. Every day counts. And uh, it ain't easy, boys and ladies and girls. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what that looking like right now. And then we can talk about basically how to get through it and how we gonna make it. Before I get into the video, are you going to draw lights? Are you starting your draw lights? Are you headed to where I'm at or not? Doesn't matter, man. Go check out Pineapple Fam on Facebook page. Link should be in the description. This is a page that I created for everybody's journey. So for all of you guys that get discouraged or that have questions, even concerns, or even want to share your journey that you have accomplished so far, please head there and share your journey. We have over hundreds of people now, and we're trying to get to a thousand people to where everybody comes in together to share their journey, connect, grow, build, inspire each other so that we can build a huge community for dreadlocks. So far, we got this going on in the back of my head. I don't know if you guys can see very clearly. Got a bunch of curls, you know what I mean? 
And it's like the more I notice it, the slower it grows. The more like I'm into looking at it, checking it out every day. It seems like the slower it grows. And I know what that is. So one of the biggest tips that I can give you guys is don't look at your dreadlocks or your hair every single day. I know that's without not saying that, you know, don't look at it as in like, don't look at it in the mirror or anything like that. Of course, you're going to end up seeing yourself. But I'm talking about just like paying attention to it. If you're like a person that likes to check on things really like how they are doing every single time every single second like you can't even give it a break then the growth of that thing that you're looking at is gonna grow slower because you're noticing every single moment of it so that's what I'm saying so if you're doing your hair for example and you have even starting off your dreadlocks just if you're doing towel rub method sponge rub method if you have it already you know crochet hooked or whatever like that don't pay attention to it just like do your due diligence of course around it to where you're maintaining it you're towel rubbing it or just keep on sponge rubbing it don't like don't dig into like looking at it like oh where is it at like how tall is it like let me measure it and like first of all the time wouldn't go faster so there's like this thing to where it's a psych a psychology it's like in your mind but every minute is different for every person meaning that for example if you have a person that's giving birth to a baby and they're going through you know labor and all that stuff trying to get the baby out their one minute is going to seem forever versus if if you're watching your favorite movie or favorite TV show, one minute out of that two hour show or that two hour movie, it's just gonna go by like that. Just cause you're enjoying it, just cause you're, so like almost like time is relevant to what you were doing. So if you're like checking your hair every single moment, every single time that you get a chance to you touch it, you mess with it, you kind of like trying to measure it, then guess what? It's gonna go by slower because hair don't grow in one minute. Hair don't grow in one day. Hair don't grow even in one month as much as you expect it to be or you want it to be. Your hair takes time and all I'm saying is don't focus on it every day. And this is trying to help you guys because I need, I need to help myself. And so that's what I started doing. I just like, okay, I'm gonna stop focusing on it. And I mean, it's already been a month and I just not introduced to you guys because I didn't want to do it too early because I know if I did it too early, then I have to make more content about it and I'm not to worry about it. So I waited to a little longer to where I'm like, okay, I can't go back now that I came this far. And that's when I introduced to you guys my dreadlock undercut growing journey. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is what I talked about earlier when I was mentioning not to really worry about what others uh, say per se, like as in like they're judging you or like they are saying something like, man you know you should cut it or whatever it doesn't look good on you or anything like that you know what the goal is you know what i mean like so if you're going for something that's greater hey sacrifice the moment right now you know what i mean we can't be a microwave generation this generation is the most microwave generation meaning that we want everything in two minutes and 30 seconds we want our mac and cheese in two minutes and 30 seconds with a powder on it with a powder and god dang water or something whatever how y'all however y'all eat your mac and cheese but that's nasty you know the older generation they 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 know how to persevere a little longer than us we got everything on our hands our phone internet is on our hands like we can get answers in a minute and a second it's like dang man now we can't have patience with other things because now we are conditioned to think that way to condition to need and want to get something right away things like this man you got to look at the big picture so what I mentioned earlier about you know other people perceiving you and it matters how they see about you is what I was saying is that if you know what you're going for and other people everybody is saying like this doesn't look good but you know what you're hitting for and that's a different subject but if you're like with a if you're like doing something that's completely not it then everybody's telling you then you should consider listening to their thoughts it's like it's like bringing that boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever to your house and all your family members is telling you like she ain't it or he ain't it like nah and then you're like no they i love them and later on they break your heart it's like they told you man everybody saw except you because you so god dang hard-headed can't see nothing looking looking boy you know what i mean and girl <laughs> But this is different. We know the goal. You know what I mean? We're not trying to pile dirt in our hair and build up all that stuff in our hair. That's not what we're going for. We we're going for something greater. And so that's how I look at it now. I have my inspiration to be a Mohawk dreadlocks. And so that's what I'm going for. And I'm going to get that. So you should aim for that same thing. Whether, whether it's full hair dreadlocks, high top, Mohawk dreadlocks, whatever it is. Let's go for that. 
let's keep the main thing the main thing and let's let's handle this now i'm gonna check back with y'all boys and girls every single month or so to see how y'all doing so how y'all doing man comment down below of your journey one month you were at some of you guys of course just restarted your dreadlocks with me uh, some of you guys have been growing your dreadlocks with me so i've done both basically so this is the growth and this is the restart quote unquote or starting you know a new set in the back of my head but what the future holds i don't know yet i still haven't made decisions to say okay i'm gonna cut this hair and combine it to the back of my hair so it can catch up uh, i haven't said like i'm gonna cut this on out and then even it out, out or get extension for the back of my hair i haven't said none of that i may try some of those things uh but i haven't made that decision yet so these are the two tips that i have for you guys after two tips i feel like y'all don't y'all tired of me talking but i can add a third one if y'all want me to y'all want me to ah uh, y'all boys and girls don't want me to huh all right thank you for watching this video but to next time keep acting the verse and create a young universe i'm active verse man and i'm out easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah